What's up everyone? So today I came to the neighborhood of Benfica, which isn't the most pleasant neighborhood here in Rio, but uh, today I came to a place where they have this huge market and you can get almost anything you want here. Um, you know, groceries, fish, you know, all kinds of stuff. And they have a bunch of bars and things like that that you can enjoy as well. Um, so I'm gonna do like a little walk around tour, maybe 10 minutes or so, just to show you guys how it is. Um, it can be pretty busy inside, so it might be, it might test my patience uh, going through, but uh, let's check it out. I've never been here before, so it'll be kind of cool. Um, so check it out, let's go, enjoy. And I'll try to make some commentary as well. Cheers. All right, here we go, guys. I guess it's on the second floor. Um, no, it's on the third floor. So just so you guys know, it looks it's on the third floor from here. So you gotta go two escalators up. Looks like they have a wine, a wine store here. <laughs> this place is ginormous. Or at least bigger than I thought it would be. Let's just take a look around here. Looks like a lot of different uh, shops and whatnot. Cafe area. All right, let's get walking. Oh, can't go that way. The Sansa. Ah, codfish from Nor Norway. That's what I'm here to buy as well. I'll maybe have a beer or something at one of the restaurants or bars that they have here. Let's go up this way and check it out. This is a bar, now it's a restaurant here. It's like a wine store as well. Hope you guys can hear me. It's a little bit loud, but uh, I'm talking to the microphone so that uh, it's a lot clearer to hear me. Definitely a lot of places to sit if you want to come <laughs> to a restaurant or whatever. I didn't expect it to have so much stuff, have so many restaurants and stores and things like that. This place has already exceeded my expectations. That's f I can honestly say that. I thought it would be a smaller type market or something like that. I didn't really. I did a little bit of research, but not full out research, so. Uh, 
Oh, live show over there. <laughs> A lot of jarred products. Definitely not lacking alcohol here. It's a cachaça shop or something. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel here. It's a pretty long uh, market here, long distance. Probably going to be about a 10 minute walk, but back and forth, maybe more. I'm not sure if it's busy because it's Easter or if it's busy because it's a Saturday or it's just generally this busy. Um, I have no idea. But it's pretty damn full. So from what I understand, this place op is about, I think it's about 60 years old. Um, it's been going on for, for quite a while, so it's got some quite a bit of tradition. Overall, guys, I would say check it out. Um, it's not necessarily something I would spend the whole day at, but it would make kind of a cool trip, and uh, especially if you want to try some new foods, like I said.
So this is the place I decided to stop at and have a drink. They've got a really good beer called Pau Liner. Definitely recommend it. And I think they're about to play some music. <laughs> some Portuguese uh, folk music. So take a listen. There they go, the dance and the... <laughs> So I'm going to head out now. Um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the walk around and get to know uh, Cadegui or Mar Mercado Municipal. Spend about two hours here, two and a half hours, so not necessarily planned, but I guess when you get to drinking it's kind of a, <laughs> you know, and buying some stuff. So thank, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to hit the like. And if it's your first time on my channel, subscribe. It really help out. Cheers.